Hello everyone, and today we are going to uh, scavenge this uh, DVR for a hard drive. This is a uh, TiVo DVR that I have uh, gotten at Goodwill for two bucks. And it's got a 160 gigabyte hard drive that I will be definitely using this computer. Well, my main computer, so we're going to do it. And if you guys are wondering, the model is a TCD652160. So first, let's take it apart. I'm going to be using my handy dandy screwdriver. And a, looks like, looks to be a T8, I believe. Alright, yep, the T8. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these screws. And now all the screws are back and I'm out, of, I'm out of the box. You now need to pop this thing open. All right, and this is the inside of a DVR. So we have, looks like a power delivery circuit, main board and their chip. Chip, those would be your looks like two smart card slots, which I, th which I uh, think would go behind here, but I'm not sure. And this, and right here, is a Western Digital Green Power. A little dusty. <laughs> oh, guys, really dusty. All right, so this. All right, all right. So right here, so it's a Western Digital Green Power. 160 gigabyte and its date is October 1st, 2009. So this should be a good drive. So now I'm going to figure out how to remove this hard drive now and um, I'll be back. And here is the hard drive. And so what does it say? WD1600A VVS. Not, not too bad. So it's still SATA 2, but it should be a lot faster. And now I'm going to pretty much put this in my computer and... What is that? I'm going to put this in my computer and just pray it spins up. Probably will not. So, I will be back. Alrighty guys. Hard drive is installed and connected. I had to uh, borrow my optical... I had to uh, sacrifice my optical drive, but I don't use it often. So, once I uh, do a little bit of a... Uh, from cleaning here in my, in my little workplace. I'm going to turn the PC on, then I'm going to go into the BIOS. I'm not going to actually boot, boot it up. I'm just going to go into the BIOS here. Alright, we are entering BIOS. And so right here, so we're going to see 3.5 gigahertz, 25 megahertz, Core i5-6600K, perfect. So now we have to go into the motherboard settings, I believe. Go to boot. And let's see. Go to hard disk. Let's see. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh yes, right here. So right here we have six SATA ports. So this so uh, right here is our SanDisk SSD. There is our 160 gigabyte hard drive that we just put in. There is our Western Digital 320 gig drive. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to boot into Windows here. I'm going to, and I'm going to format the drive. So thank God it actually picked up because usually most hard drives that you pull out of DVR are locked. I'm also going to check the smart data on this hard drive, just in case it's failing. But mostly it's not, because usually AV hard drives are like pretty good when it comes to reliability. Alright, so let's see. We're not seeing anything yet, but let, but if we go into disk management, creating foreign hard disk partitions, we should see right here. 
Look at that. You must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. Alright, so perfect. So now I'm thinking, should we put do GPT or master bootloader? Well, this is a less than two this is not a bigger than two terabyte drives and MBR only sorts of two terabytes. So I'm just gonna do master boot record for now. Alright, so now we've initialized it. Now I'm going to do a format. It's not an E. I'm gonna name it second extra drive. And finish! So now we're formatting the hard drive. So now we have a spare drive. So now I'm going to go into Crystal Disk Info here. And let's see what it says. E. So we have SATA, the SATA 300 drive, 8 meg cache. Everything looks good. So this hard drive is good. So good. Alright, so the next thing we're going to run is. Where's my downloads? Oh, yeah, there Next, I'm going to find Crystal Disk Mark. Right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna fire up a Crystal Disk Mark, and you should be good. And I'm gonna go test the speed. All right, right guys. Now. I gotta be quick, but we're gonna now run Crystal Disk Mark on the drive and see how fast our read/write speeds are. Now, being an AV drive, it should be fast. And I'll be back when this is done. There are your final, final speeds. 73 read, 71 write. This is not a fast drive, keep in mind. But I'm just going to use this as extra storage. So this is uh, just a really quick Sunday video today. And I'll see you guys later.